Of all the natural ways I've seen to fight global warming, uh, this one got my attention. Whale poo. Seriously. It's part of a new study that was done that actually confirms its relative importance with regulating the amount of carbon dioxide both stored in the ocean and potentially pulled out of the atmosphere. Now this is going to require a little bit of explaining. Now here's why it's important. We know the world has been warming during the last few decades, most notably in the polar regions by the scale of a few degrees. And the ice caps have melted some 20 to 30 percent or more since the 1970s. We also know that a prime greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide, with concentration levels steadily on the increase. At the same time, the average global temperature has also been on the rise. Carbon dioxide absorbs the heat coming off the Earth's surface and re-radiates it back down to the ground, acting like a blanket. So how do whales come to our rescue in this scenario? Well, there's a new study by the Australian Antarctic Division that found, as populations of whales continue to expand and grow, the amount of whale poo they leave behind just happens to be high in iron, which is the perfect food source for phytoplankton blooms. So in theory, the more whales that you have dropping behind more whale poo should allow for greater phytoplankton blooms, and that works directly into the food chain. Tiny shrimp known as krill feed on the phytoplankton, and the whales make that krill a prime part of their diet. So why is phytoplankton important? Well, they use sunlight, and they actually pull carbon dioxide out of the ocean surface as part of their growing process. So as more carbon dioxide gets pulled out of the ocean, this gives the ocean a better ability to absorb more carbon dioxide from the environment and the atmosphere, acting like a carbon sink. Scientists believe if whale populations were to increase, in theory, you could see more CO2 being pulled out of the atmosphere, perhaps pulling back some of the man-made effects of global warming. So maybe the crew of the Enterprise had it right, going back in time and increasing the global whale population in the future. According to this study, it may potentially lead to a slightly cooler planet. Let's just make sure all those whales are well-fed. For NBCBayArea.com, I'm Rafaela.